today I wanted to do a get ready with me. I am at the beach right now. That's why there's like all of this craziness behind me. Um, but I'm high maintenance and I get my hair done at the beach. So that's what we're doing today. I haven't had makeup on all weekend. I've been here since Friday, but I was going to just put on a little bit of makeup so that I can go to the hairdresser. I always like to see like my new haircut and hair color with makeup. Are y'all like that too? It just, it makes it all come together so that I know exactly what I'm going to look like. So um, I'm doing really simple makeup just because I'm at the beach. When we get done um, getting our hair done, we're going to go back to the beach. So I have like literally my travel makeup bag. Oh, it's just chock full of stuff. So um, this is really going to be, again, just like, super casual chit chatty um I'm just gonna talk to y'all about what I'm using and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready so I've already washed my face moisturized it um I think I'm going to do a skincare routine video so I'll get that I will oh my goodness I will get to that more later so I'm starting out with the Mirabella Prime for face um this is actually something that I got in my BoxyCharm um I don't know, maybe a few boxy charms before. I love primer and I'm constantly like trying new primers. So if you have a primer that you love, let me know. This one's silicone based. You can see it's like kind of clear and gel like. And I really just put this in the center of my face. Um, that's where my pores seem to be the biggest. I really, I pretty have, I pretty much have normal skin. I'm not very oily. I only get dry patches in the winter and really if I'm taking care of my skin and washing my face every day that's not a big issue but I do find that in the summer my pores are pretty big like around my nose especially the edges of my nose and right here on my forehead. So I just like to use a primer right in the center so that um, it kind of smooths it over. So for my foundation, I'm actually not using a foundation. I'm using Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I got this in a little bit darker of a shade for summer. And it's really just because I wanted something light that I could wear in the summer and not feel like I had foundation on my face. And like I mentioned, I have pretty normal skin. So I don't need a lot of coverage in the summer. This is a lot and I got way too much. Um, this is enough for me to kind of get away with evening out my skin tone without wearing a ton of makeup. I danced growing up, um, for like 15 years, so I wore stage makeup. So when it, when I went to school and got ready for like high school and stuff, I wouldn't put on any makeup. I really just cared about like flat ironing my hair and making sure that my hair was in place because when it came to makeup, I hated, hated makeup, which is crazy because now I absolutely love makeup. And if you ask my husband, I probably spend way too much money in makeup. Um, but I had to get past the whole cake face stage makeup is cake face to me. It's, you know, um, it's so you don't get washed out with the lights. It makes complete sense, but that doesn't keep me from hating it any less. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I'm just smoothing the tinted moisturizer over. You can see my ears are a little burnt, so I'm just gonna rub a little bit on my ears. Um, this pretty much matches my skin tone, especially my shoulders, because I've been getting some sun. I actually got pretty burnt yesterday. I'm I'm light complected. I wouldn't say that I'm fair though, but typically I tan really easily and don't burn so much. And if I burn, it kind of soaks in. But yesterday we were out for like five hours. So that's a long time. Okay. So now I'm going in with concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm in the shade NW20. Um, I love this stuff, y'all. If you can't tell, I have really dark under eyes. I just have super thin skin there, and I've always had kind of that darkness underneath my eyes just because it doesn't matter. Like, I ask anybody. I sleep 
like nobody's business. I'm one of those people who has to have like eight to nine hours of sleep or I just, I don't make it. Um, so I sleep really well and I get enough sleep, but I could literally sleep like 12 hours out of the day and still have darkness under my eyes. So I love this Pro Longwear Concealer. It really masks my under eye circles, my under eye colors. Um, without getting too creased and cakey. So I just tap that out a little bit with my fingers. I do put some on my eyes to mask the veins on my eyes. Um, and then I'm going in with this Japanesque brush. It's actually a tapered foundation brush. I also got this in one of my boxy charms. This is the perfect size for tapping out that concealer. Um, I've also used, I have a bigger version of this from Sigma. And I like that one too, but I was traveling recently to Austin, Texas, and um, this was perfect to throw in my little travel makeup case to take with me. So I'm just blending that out even more, making sure there's no harsh lines, taking it down my nose a little bit. You probably saw that little, that really cute little tan line right there from wearing sunglasses. Because I have green eyes, it is impossible for me to go outside in the sun and not wear sunglasses. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if, if you have light eyes too. So after I put on my concealer, I go ahead and set it and I'm using the Shade and Light palette. I use a mixture of these two colors. These are, let's see here, Lucid and Lyric. So I kind of dab between the two. I do have the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light brush. So I just tap between the two, tap off the excess, and then I dab under my eyes. This just sets my concealer all day so that it doesn't move, it doesn't crease, um, and it's a perfect shade. I kind of like that the lighter under eye look. I just think it's really pretty to help your eyes stand out. So that's what I do, but this palette, y'all, is awesome. If you don't have it already, I recommend that you get it. So after I set my under eyes, I go ahead and set my entire face. I hate, I don't know, I think you should set your makeup no matter what, but I also hate like that, I don't know, I hate being able to feel, I hate being able to feel the foundation. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't like it. Oh, let me show you what I'm using. I am using the Makeup Forever HD. This is the Micro Finish Powder. It's just a white powder, translucent powder. And I'm using this A Design Finishing Foundation Brush. It's just a duo fiber brush. This gets a lot of product, so I tap it off a ton before I swirl it all over my face. You really, you really don't need a lot. Um, so a little bit will do to set your makeup and just, I don't know, I feel like it just finishes off the face. It looks a lot cleaner and yeah, it feels better to me. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my eyes. I I was debating on what I wanted to do because I just got this gorgeous new palette from Tarte. It's the Poppy Picnic palette. I'll open it up and show you. Um, I just saw this while I was getting my brows done at Ulta. That is like the worst thing for me to do is to get my brows done at Ulta because I walk in and then I find stuff that I want. So this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty, it's sturdy. And then you open it up and it has six eyeshadow shades and then this gorgeous um, blush in the middle and I love it. I think I actually will use this today. Um, so I am going to start off by just setting um, what I already have on my eyes, that concealer. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is Barefoot in the Grass. That's pretty close to like my eyelid shade. I'm just gonna dip in there, top off the excess again, go over my entire eyelid up to the brow bone, just sweeping it up, just to help kind of give us lay a foundation. Okay, I have to point this out. When I am doing my makeup, this eye I can close and leave this one open super easily. I cannot <laughs> do the same thing with this eye, so you'll see me kind of like blinking back and forth because I'm just special that way. Moving on. I know you were going to notice, so I just wanted to go ahead and point it out to you. Alright, next I'm going to go in with this lighter chocolate shade. 
It's called Sweet Tea. I just love that. That's so cute. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush, tap it out, and I'm just going to go into the crease to start bringing definition to the eye. I'm probably not going to put that heavy of makeup on because like I said, we're going to the beach later, so I really just need something to get me through the day. So I'm defining the eye by going in the crease, really blowing it out, and then I'm going over the eyelid just to kind of bring that color down. I love warm colors, so this palette is like right up my alley and then it throws a peach in there. Okay, see the eye? It's happening. Um, but I, I really need to get out of my comfort zone and start using cool colors. It's just, I don't know, I've always been drawn to neutrals and browns, taupes. I do love a taupe, and taupe's pretty cool, but I'll pair it with something warm. So i got to get out of my comfort zone. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I'm using. This is the Sigma um, E40. It's a tapered blending brush. So I'm just running this all over, and I forgot to tell you what that other brush is, but I'll get back to it in a minute, so all good. Just defining it. I'm double checking to make sure they're pretty even. I have the mirror like right next to the camera so it's kind of far away so I'll probably be using um, this palette mirror too as I'm going along. So I think that's pretty good. I don't feel like I need that much color in my eyes right now. As I mentioned just because we're going to get our hair done and that's it. That's like our our big thing for the day. Don't you love that about the beach? You don't have to do like anything. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this peach color and it is called Peach Poppy. Is that not gorgeous? So I'm going to use that and I'm going to use this brush again. I've, I've dusted it off. This is an E25 from Sigma, another blending brush. And I'm just going to pat that right in the center of my lid and kind of bring it out. It's just going to add a little bit of color to the eye without being crazy. I'm really not crazy with my makeup. It's really simple, really natural looking. Um, just what I prefer, probably because I didn't wear makeup until, I don't know, three or four years ago. I'm 25. That's crazy, y'all. Um, just didn't want to be bothered by it. <laughs> After stage makeup, I was over it. Okay. So now I just want to bring some definition into my um, outer corner. So I'm going to take this very dark shade at the bottom. This is Ice Cream Cone. And this is another brush from my BoxyCharm. I feel like I'm advertising BoxyCharm again. Modern, modern Minerals, you're gorgeous. And it's this very stiffly packed, um, I don't know, like rounded brush. It would be really good for your crease, but I love it for my outer V because I can dip in there and really, I'm using the palette this time, and really um, stick the eyeshadow where I want it to. Is that what I'm trying to say? Um, this is going to look crazy heavy going on, but I am going to blend it out, don't you worry. Um, I love bringing in a darker color on the outer V. I feel like it just, it gives you that like sweat cat eye effect without doing cat eye liner, I, I'm just going to say it, I absolutely suck at doing cat eye liner. I cannot figure it out. Winged liner to save my life. My sister does it on the daily. She also works at Sephora, so that could be it. But I just cannot figure it out to save my life. So this kind of brings that same effect. I'm working it into the crease as I go along, just really blending. And I love the way that it looks. And I'm going to clean this up so it's not so dark. I had way too much on my brush and I didn't realize it. Um, so I'm going to go into the other eye now. Don't worry, I'll get back to that one. When it comes to blending, does anybody else just get really bored on one eye at one time? I have to kind of go back and forth because I cannot stand to spend too much time on one eye. I just... ADD. ADD. So, I am going through and blending. This is a much better amount to work with. This one is a little crazy. Um, let's go ahead and start brushing that away. So, I'm just taking the same E40 again, kind of blending it out so it's not so harsh. And then I'll probably take a towel or something and run my finger over it. Um, just because it got a little heavy-handed. Although, this is cleaning it up really nicely. Do the same to the other side. You see how that just kind of like 
brings it all in. And it's also, I mean, this is, it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning yet. And this is very wearable for daytime, but it really brings that kind of glamorous definition to the eye that you're looking for. So, let's see. I feel like I need to darken it up on this side just to just to make sure we're even on both sides so I'm just gonna I, I didn't add anything to, more to my brush I'm just gonna take it and kind of push it more into the crease so that it matches the other side a little bit better all right blend 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 if y'all watch Jaclyn Hill she always says blend 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 like that is her mantra learn from the best I love her. If y'all don't follow her her already, you've probably been living under a rock. She has like 2 million subscribers, so go watch her if you don't already. Okay, so now I am moving on to mascara. I'm sitting on the floor and my leg is falling asleep. Um, I just got this Tarte eyelash curler. Um, so I am going to be using that. I only curl my lashes when right before I'm putting on mascara. I don't do it when I have mascara on. It already freaks my sister out that I do it at all, but um, I have very fine lashes. I feel like I have a lot, but, and typically they curl well with mascara, but I just feel like they look that much better if I curl them first. And I just put it on my eye and squeeze, 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 just to kind of get that curl going on. And you can already see, or maybe, hopefully, you can already see that they're a little bit better. So typically my go-to mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but my sister got gratis the other day from Sephora and got two of these Dior Attic It Lash. So I really wanted to try that today. Um, so another little secret tidbit about me, I guess it's not a secret, but I told you about the eye thing. Mascara. I don't know what it is about my eyelids or my lashes or whatever, but no matter what mascara I'm using, I will forever get it on my eyelid, like right at the um, the lash line. And I typically don't wear eyeliner. I already told you it's not my forte, so you might be seeing some of that. Check out this wand. How interesting is that? It's got like these spikes at the end. We'll see. Um, so I am a multiple co multiple coater girl when it comes to mascara. Um, again, because I'm blonde, I have pretty light lashes, so I like to really coat them so that they're defined. Look how pretty that is already. That is so pretty. Um, so I'll probably do like two or three co coats depending on how this turns out, but so far I really like it. This is a rubber bristled wand. A lot of people don't like that. Some prefer the fibers, but I really like rubber. I feel like I can get in there much better and I can control the mascara a little bit easier. Let me know what your favorite mascara is because I feel like mascara is something you can never have too much of and all of it is different. I also use um, the Benefit roller lash on my lower lashes because again I struggle with putting mascara on without touching my face so I use that one on the lower lashes because the wand's a bit smaller than the um, better than sex mascara um, so I feel like I, again I can control it easier and it has rubber bristles and I love that mascara although I don't really use it on my top lashes so who knows maybe I don't love it as much as I think I do <laughs> All right, I'm actually just going to stick with two coats because I feel like this mascara is doing a gorgeous job of lengthening and separating my lashes. Um, and I don't feel like I need any more. What do you think? Good? I'm going to call it good. Okay, so I typically have to let my mascara dry in between doing the top lashes and the bottom lashes because I will get it all over me. So I'm going to move on to brows. I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and this is in the color taupe. Um, typically on a day like this where I'm not really doing anything, I will use the Gimme Brow 
Um, and I use this anyway on top of my brow wiz to kind of set the brow hairs. But today, since I'm here sitting with y'all, I'm going to go ahead and go all out. I always brush my brows out. Um, again, super fine brows. Super, I guess they're not super light. They're pretty dark for a blonde. Um, but I still like to brush them out to kind of see where I'm going. This this is my trouble child. This is the one that if it's going to act up, it's going to be the right brow. It's just how it works. So I typically start with the left one because it makes me feel good about what we're doing. So I only really fill in where it needs it. I do like to draw a line underneath just to kind of give me a base. And right here at the front of my brows, my brow hairs are super feathery and kind of grow all over the place. I have to trim them trim them pretty often in between um, waxes just because if I don't, they will literally like grow at you. It is the most bizarre thing I have ever seen. So I typically fill this in because they're kind of crazy. And then I'll just go along and um, fill in the arch a little bit more. I am loving super define arched brows that are a bit thicker. Do y'all remember 90s, early 2000s when it was like the thinnest brow you can get is the one you want? And now we're like going for Cara Delevingne brows. It's it's insane how time changes. But I'm, I'm loving the trend of thicker brows um, with a nice high arch. So literally just filling in a little bit and that's like it's like all I do. And I take the spoolie end again and I brush through it just to make sure it's all well blended out. I don't know that I was done filming. I'm not done filming. <laughs> what I was saying is I don't like it to look like I've used product in my brows. I really just think that um, filling in the brows is like all you need to do. So I'm moving on to the right side and we will go from there. So again, just like filling in the bottom, creating that line and then really filling in these hairs where they are wacky. Um, they really are wacky. My brother, poor thing, he got the same eyebrows as I did where they just grow at all angles right there. You should see pictures from when I'm a kid. They just, they needed to be under control like ASAP and they weren't because I was a kid. But I'm handling it now, it's all good. Um, so again, I told you this is the trouble child, so I really have to like fake an arch on this one. It's more rounded than the other. So I try and build it up right there and I'm going to blend that out. I know it looks a little thick. Um, but that is it for brows. I'm not too high maintenance with them. I don't do the concealer. I don't, um, I don't do brow gel. I go over them with the brow wiz just to kind of lighten them up a little bit. Because my um, hairs are a little bit darker than my hair color, especially since I'm highlighting it at the moment. Um, so I do use the brow wiz just to kind of lighten it up and hold them into place. So let me grab that. I have the brow wiz in, I think, it, yeah, light medium. So I just run them through really quickly. It's simple to just kind of run them through and keeps them in place without making them feel stiff. You know those brow gels where like your eyebrows, they're not moving. That's not one of these. It feels, I mean, it's definitely um, helping them to stay in place, but it doesn't feel like they're going to fall off your face because they're plaster of Paris. So I am going to go ahead and use the Dior Addict on my lower lashes as well, just to try it out. When I try a mascara, I like to try it on top and bottom and then kind of figure out if it doesn't work from there. I feel like that the tip of the wand is going to help kind of pull at those lower lashes um, that are hard to reach. I cannot talk and do lower lashes at the same time, so pause. I'm actually not being too messy. I say that now and watch this next eye. I'm gonna like totally drop the mascara on my face and we're gonna have issues. I'm gonna be upset. What is your favorite lower lash mascara? A lot of people use the, what is it, the MAC? It used to be the Giggle Lash or something like that. I forgot what it's called now. It comes in a blue tube, 
a lot of YouTubers that I watch love that mascara for their lower lashes. Do y'all use a different lower lash mascara or do you use the same mascara for your lower lashes? I would love to know. Again, mascara is one of those things you can never have too much of. My husband would disagree, but he's not here right now. I'm just kidding. Okay. I love super defined lower lashes. I just, I think it really opens up the eye. So I'm actually going to do, my the camera's getting too hot, so I'm gonna try and rush through this. I finished putting the mascara on my lower lashes, so now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I got this for purchasing the palette the other day. This is the Park Avenue Princess um, Waterproof Bronzer, and I have been loving it. I used it in Austin last week, and I think the color is just so natural and so pretty. Um, I have a lot of freckles in the summer and I actually love makeup that allows my freckles to show through. Um, I personally just love freckles. I think they're super endearing and, and charming. Um, so I'm just putting this on the points of my face where I would normally get sun. I've gotten a lot of sun so I really don't need that much. I don't want to look like I'm a lot darker than I am. I still want to look like me. So I am going to leave it there. This is, I forgot to tell you, this is the Real Techniques, um, uh, what is it called? Something Metals. It's the 100 brush. It's like this paddle brush. I love this for bronzer, but I've also seen people using it for foundation and, um, just regular powder. It's an awesome brush. So I am going to go back into this Poppy Princess palette and we are using the blush in the middle. This is called Glisten. It has some shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see that. But once it's on the face, it really just looks like your face is highlighted. And I'm using the Real Techniques Metal Brush again. And this is the one in 300. This is the one meant for blush. It's a very interesting shape. It's kind of tapered. Um, and stiff so it makes it interesting to put blush on but I, I once I've gotten used to it I really like it I kind of sweep it back like this and then kind of go in in circular motions to try and mix it out or blend it out we are not making a cake um, so yeah and I get kind of I get kind of um, blush heavy because I love blush lastly I have to I have to do this step no matter what makeup I'm wearing. I'm obsessed with highlighters. This is the Becca <clears throat> Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this is in the shade Opal. So pretty, y'all. I am obsessed. And then I'm using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. This is the F35. I feel like you can never have too much highlighter. It's just... Oh my gosh, I was going to use that lighting cream that I got in my BoxyCharm and I totally forgot. That's okay. There are more days this week. So I just love, I mean, look at that glow. Hopefully you can see that because I'm sitting in front of a mirror. I love it. Taking it down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, just a smidge on my forehead. I feel like it clings to my forehead, so I try not to put too much there. And then I'm not putting on any lipstick today. It's just not necessary. So I'm just going to use the Fresh Sugar Rosé Lip Tint. My lips actually got a little bit burnt, so they're kind of swollen right now. So gross. Um, just put on a little bit of that. And I am done, y'all. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. Let me know if you